Hi, it's Felipe from CloudRail. Today I'm going to show you an example of how to use Azure IoT Central with CloudRail. Okay, this is our setup and here we have our CloudRail box. As you can see, the CloudRail box is attached to the IFM module through a network cable and connected to the internet through the Ethernet cable on the other port. As you can see, there is only one device attached to the IFM module, which is the RGB light. And as you can see as well, there are three ports left, which we will use for different sensors. We can use the RFID, temperature device, vibration sensors, and any other IoT device. After configuring our CloudRail box and our Azure IoT Central credentials, we just need to create a new connection. As you can see, we have our light attached. Let's now attach our temperature device. Here is the temperature sensor. And now you see that CloudRail refreshes automatically every time we connect a new IoT device. You can see that the temperature sensor now appeared on CloudRail platform. Let's quickly fast forward through the adding process. And that's it. You can already check your data going to the IoT Central platform. Let's do it. It may take a while, but you see your data getting through the IoT Central. It is very easy to use CloudRail because we automatically add the necessary data for the device in the Azure IoT Central platform application. And not only that, you can see the data because we automatically add the default templates for the device that you just selected. For the temperature device, you can already see all the data that it transmits to us. Of course, you can always customize with your own templates on Azure. And that's it. You're already set up with Azure IoT Central. Don't forget that with CloudRail, you can use thousands and thousands of IoT sensors. Stay in for more videos, tips and tricks from CloudRail.